What's up guys, Garrett with self.dev. Today we are gonna be talking about front end masters versus Team Treehouse. I'm kind of going over which one would be better if you're just starting out, just getting into the developer stuff. We've got a few criteria we're gonna be judging based on. I can't figure out how to make these bigger, so I hope you can see them. Uh, which one has a better free trial? Which one has a better price? Which one is more beginner friendly? Do they give you projects? Because uh, I feel like getting projects you can build locally and on your own are is it's one of the best ways to learn code because then you actually have to think like a developer you have to google some stuff sometimes you have to kind of struggle through it and that's what makes your brain say hey this is important i need to remember this stuff plus if you built it on your own you can point to it in a job interview and say hey i built this on my own i didn't follow some guy on youtube and code along with them i actually built this on my own then we're going to talk about do they help you get a job if either one does how many skills they teach, and then which one has a better community. So, right off the bat with the free trials. Team Treehouse gives you a seven day free trial for whichever one of their programs you pick. So, that one's pretty straightforward. After seven days, you get charged however much, depending on which program you pick. Frontend Masters has a, I think it's a, I, I'm gonna go with Frontend Masters is the better trial program. If you sign up for Frontend Masters, you get four full Frontend Masters courses for free. I believe it's these four right here. Complete intro to web dev, getting started with JavaScript, a practical guide to algorithms with JavaScript, and VS Code can do that. Which, if you don't use VS Code, go download that now. It is the text editor you need to use. I used Atom for the entire time I was learning to become a developer. But about three months into actually being a developer, I switched to VS Code and I would never go back. So, Frontend Masters gets the win for who has the better free trial. Now, on to price. Team Treehouse has their basic program. With this, you get access to all of their expert-led video courses. Uh, which is basically, just a library here. They teach a lot of different skills. And they've got tracks laid out for you, which I really like. Frontend Masters does this too, but they've got like the front end web development track where you start off learning intro to HTML and CSS, HTML basics, CSS basics, debugging, and then JavaScript basics, JavaScript numbers, JavaScript functions. So they take their time teaching you stuff. So Team Treehouse, uh, you get tw that's for $25 a month. I think it's definitely worth it. Their pro program is kind of, I would never buy this. You get access to some bonus content, which there's not a lot of it. And then the bonus content you do get access to, it's not really worth the extra 20 bucks. You can download videos for offline learning, but do you really need to download the videos for offline learning? And I feel like you could probably figure out a way to download the videos from basic for free anyway. So don't, don't go for pro. Uh, and then they've got the tech degree, which is what I really like. They, you get everything in the basic, and then you get us a, a customized or a curated curriculum and projects. You get personalized feedback on your projects. So they basically give you a mock-up of a website and they're like, hey, build this. Don't touch the HTML, only use CSS. That was one of their projects to help you learn like descendant selectors and child selectors a little more. But they'll give you specifications for it and then they'll give you some stuff you can do to go above and beyond and get like exceeds expectations on it. So they actually give you a grade. They give you a little bit of feedback. Uh, then they also give you real-time support from Treehouse staff. And then they also got a Slack channel. So they've got a pretty good community around the tech degree program. You can kind of network and make friends in there. Front end masters. Oh, that was, that's was $200 a month. So a little pricey, but I think it's worth it because you get your own projects. Front end masters has their monthly membership, 40 bucks a month, roughly. And then a year it's 390. So this is pretty comparable to Team Treehouse's basic program. Team Treehouse is a little cheaper than Frontend Masters, but with Frontend Masters monthly program, you get access to all their courses. Uh, they don't really give you any projects to work on on your own that I've found. So it's basically we're basically comparing their monthly membership to Team Treehouse's basic program. Because all you get with Team Treehouse's basic is the video courses, and then all you get with this is the video courses and then a few exercises, which with this, you get a few exercises as well. It's just not like full-fledged projects. It's just like print hello world to the screen or something like that. And this one's, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but 
Team Treehouse is going to win this one based on price because $25 a month, $40 a month, Team Treehouse got it. Now, which one is more beginner friendly? Uh, this one I'm going to go with Team Treehouse again. When you sign up, I think the first thing they recommend is this digital literacy course, which is great if you're just starting out. They teach you about how the internet works, how the web works, how servers work, how IP addresses kind of function, uh, the ba computer basics, and just some like ground level stuff you need to know if you're getting into this. Front end masters, they have tracks, just like Team Treehouse or Learning Paths as they call it, but they don't start off teaching you about servers and like the how the internet works and the basics like that. They start you off with HTML and CSS and then the JavaScript and then Ajax and Node and Git. Another thing is that most of Frontend Masters courses, it's an instructor talking to a group of students. So it's not made directly for you. Although I mean, you still get great content out of it. It's just not a guy talking to you one-on-one -on -one basically. With Team Treehouse, their videos are made for like one person at a time. So pretty much everything on the web uses the It's a person talking to you like this. The level of professionalism seems a little bit higher on this. However, the instructor's credentials on here seem a little bit more impressive to me. Like Brian, who teaches their basic course, he is a product manager, a program manager at Azure at Microsoft. So that's a little bit more impressive than whatever Treasure's credentials are. Like she just says she's a web developer, a JavaScript enthusiast, an education professional, hasn't worked at any of the big companies, but Still, I feel like these are a little bit more professional, professionally made and a little bit more beginner friendly. So I would give Team Treehouse the win for that. Now, do they give you projects, which is that something I think is really important. On their base level program, Friend of Masters doesn't give you projects to build on your own. They, You basically go through projects with whoever's leading the course. So you can, it's like you code along with them, and that's that's cool and all. Um, Teach Treehouse does the same thing with their basic program. You basically code along and build the project with the instructor. So the, if, if we go based off of their basic program, which is the one we can compare to Frontend Masters, neither of them give you projects. However, Team Treehouse does have their tech degree, and with that one, they give you projects that you build on your own, and that's where I feel like the learning really takes place. So we'll just compare the basic level. And on that, neither of them have projects, so it's a draw. But they do both give you little exercises to do on your own. Team Treehouse gives you some more, but yeah. Now, do you get any help getting a job? I haven't seen much on Frontend Masters with help getting a job. The only thing I've seen is that recently they put out a interviewing for Frontend Engineers course. Uh, don't know how long this is. Let's see, don't play, because I don't want to do any copyright stuff. So it's uh, about three hours. I haven't got to watch it yet, but I'm sure there's some great stuff in there because they get deep into the weeds on their content and they teach like the nitty gritty stuff. Team Treehouse, with Team Treehouse, from what I can find, they don't have any job assistance stuff with just their basic program. They do with the tech degree program, like they'll go over how to make a resume, how to apply for jobs, how you should go about networking with people, and they have a lot of tips to help you get a job, but neither of them have like direct, like hey, we'll help you get an internship or like career guidance programs. So that one's gonna be a draw too. They do try to provide some like base level help though like their interviewing for front end engineers program and then they've got a few videos on like resumes and like the basic stuff. Now, how many skills do they teach? This one, from what I can tell, Team Treehouse gets the win here. These are the skills Team Treehouse teaches broken down. They've got Android, data analytics, HTML, PHP, Python, ISO, databases, APIs, design, which I need to watch because I have a trash designer. QA, Ruby, JavaScript, C Sharp, CSS, Go, Machine Learning, Swift. Now, front end masters, these are their topics pretty much. So they've got JavaScript, CSS, Node, React, Vue, Angular, Webpack, Data Visualization, and AsyncJS, which I'm, I mean, that's pretty much JavaScript. So is this. 
So they've got about six different skills they teach, which these are all also JavaScript. I don't think Team Treehouse teaches Vue or Angular. So if you want to learn Vue or Angular, this might be your better choice. After you go, th you so I'd probably go through the basics on Team Treehouse and then switch to front-end masters and learn Vue and Angular. Let's see here, Vue. Okay, so they do teach a little bit of Vue on here, they just don't have it defined as a skill, of course, because that's JavaScript. Because, yeah, so if we go to JavaScript here, yeah, debug node, React, Ajax, REST APIs, state in React, React, uh, React components, React basics, view. Do they have anything on Angular? Using Angular CLI, Angular basics. Okay, so Team Treehouse teaches Angular, view, and React as well, and Node. Because, like, these five right here, those are basically, I would categorize all of those under the umbrella of JavaScript. Nodes, just like server side JavaScript, but it, I feel like it still falls under the umbrella of JavaScript. So they're basically teaching you HTML, CSS, and then JavaScript here, which is great. You need to learn that. Team Tree also just has like a wider variety because they'll also teach Go, C Sharp, SQL, that kind of thing. So Team Tree also gets the win there. Now, which one has a better community? This one, Team Tree also is gonna get the win on as well. I couldn't find any kind of forms. Let's actually just Google that real quick. So front end, masters, forms. So they have a course on forms, but they don't have an actually any actual forms where you can go and ask questions. Uh, if anybody from front end master sees this, that's something that would be really cool to add. Like you don't even have to have people working the forms. They can just be like community led, but that'd be a cool thing to have because sometimes I'm watching projects and I have questions about the project and there's not really anywhere to go where you can ask questions on front end masters. You just have to kind of Google it and figure it out yourself, which I mean, you have to do that as a developer anyway, so. There's that, but Team Treehouse does have their little community forums here uh, where you can basically just post a question about any course and somebody in the community will kind of reach out, help you out, kind of help you understand it. And then if you do their tech to reprogram, you have access to the Slack channel, which is basically just a bunch of other people doing the tech to reprogram. So you got peers who are working on it with you to help out. And then they've also got some moderators, some like higher level people that can help you out too. So Team Treehouse gets the win on that. So, overall, I think you should probably, if you're starting out from ground zero, you should probably start out with Team Treehouse. I would probably, if you, if you can afford it, do their tech degree, because with this, you're gonna get projects you can work on and that you can show off to potential employers that you've built on your own. I'd start off with a front-end web developer thing, run through that, and then switch to the full stack JavaScript tech degree. It's gonna take you about four months because they le only let you submit one project a week, and then let's assume you don't pass all the projects on your first try. So it could take up to four months to finish. I th I'm, that's probably like the minimum they let you finish in. I'm not really sure. Hadn't looked into too much. Ooh, they've got Python now as well. They had Python before, but they removed it because they wanted to update it. But I might have to sign back up and do this because I really want to get back into the Python stuff. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, I'd probably go through front end web developer or yeah, web development track tech degree then do the full stack JavaScript tech degree. And then I would move over to front end masters because that's when they start getting into the deeper level stuff. Uh, like they have a course on JavaScript performance, how to like optimize your JavaScript. I don't think Team Treehouse talked about that too much. Team Treehouse didn't really talk about closure. I didn't know what that was until I started doing front end masters stuff. Uh, my vocabulary with JavaScript has increased a lot thanks to front end masters. It's like, don't think Team Treehouse got very deep into like the vocabulary of everything, which is why I'm saying it's more beginner friendly, right? They make it easier to get into the, the code and start learning. Whereas here, if you have like a base level understanding, I feel like you get a lot more out of it because they don't get too, they don't spend a lot of time on each particular subject. And because they're talking about some of the deeper stuff, it can be kind of hard to grasp what they're talking about at, at times. But this is still a great place to learn. If you're already a developer, I would say sign up for front-end masters because you're gonna learn a lot here. Uh, like I said though, they only talk about 
they do mostly only talk about front end stuff aside from Node.js um, and then JavaScript. So you're kind of limited on that part. I don't think they have any Python. Let's double check here though. So if we do Python. All right, they do talk a little bit about Python. Uh, they only have two courses. When were these put out? Are these recent? Okay, so May 2019. So it's kind of recent. Uh, let's see if they have anything on like C Sharp. All right, nothing on C Sharp. SQL. They have SQL fundamentals, but that's from 2018, so it's a little dated. I'm sure there's still some great stuff in there though, because I don't I don't know how much SQL is changing. I haven't really looked at SQL much. Mongoose. Nothing on Mongoose. Uh, MongoDB. They've got a little bit on MongoDB. Okay, so they've got a little bit more than I thought they did. So maybe maybe they tie on how many skills they teach. Actually, I think Team Treehouse still has it because these are just ones Team Treehouse has. But then Team Treehouse has like C Sharp. Do they have Go? They don't have Go. They don't have. Do they have Swift? They don't have Swift. So yeah, Team Treehouse still wins with the amount of skills they teach. But yeah, I'd say start off with Team Treehouse overall. Do the front end web developer tech degree. Do the full stack tech JavaScript tech degree, and then you'll have a solid portfolio. You can start applying for jobs, and from there you can move to front end masters, start doing the more in depth stuff, and get like a deeper understanding of the languages. So, hope this helps you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm putting out good stuff. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe so you can get the next cool video I put out. I do a lot of LinkedIn assessment videos. If you want to do the LinkedIn assessments, you get a little badge to show that, hey, you know what you're talking about with this kind of. Probably doesn't carry much weight with getting a job. Probably carries like next to no weight actually, but it's cool to have. And uh, if you want to come join the tech, uh, the Discord, we have a Discord where you can come talk tech, ask questions, get some feedback on any projects you have or your portfolio. I do resume reviews. If you want me to review your resume, my email's in the description. Just send me your resume. You just have to be comfortable with it being in a video. I will block out your name and contact information, but I don't have time to just sit there and like review a resume and send it back to you. I kind of do review the resume while I'm making a YouTube video. So it's kind of two birds for one, two birds with one stone for me. So I get a little bit of it out of that too. But yeah, uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I will have links to both of these sites in the description and I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.